Yo, welcome to another episode of the Simply Ball Dropping Podcast. I'm your host and the man behind the mic, Kate Sapp. And today, man, we got a great show lined up for you guys. But when you come across this video, make sure you like, comment, subscribe, and please share the video out. And if you don't have your post notifications on, turn your post notifications on so you'll know every time Simply Ball Dropping drops another hot banger. And trust me, I see everybody in the comment section hashtag salute and you know what my mantra is tell a friend to tell a friend might not be for you but it might be for them um very interesting show today uh, before we get off into it this show is sponsored by this episode is sponsored by true choice insurance here at true choice we take a different philosophy when it comes to providing you with your insurance options. We emphasize the value of the products we offer instead of playing on the fear of you not being protected in your time of need. True Choice is affiliated with more than 60 insurance companies. This makes us one of the most independent agencies in the state of Texas. Please visit truechoiceinsurance.com for all your insurance needs. Once again, man, shout out to my man, Brian Kelly and his wife over there at True Choice Insurance, man. You guys get with them. Go visit the website at www.truechoiceinsurance.com and tell them KSAP from the Simply Ball Dropping Podcast sent you their way. But let's get right off into it, man. Uh, we got to talk about Stephen A. Smith and what Stephen A. Smith is trying to portray here. Um, you know, recently he's made his rounds on a couple podcasts and People have been asking him the real reason why Max Kellerman was let go, you know, from ESPN first take um, after a six year run. Um, you know, he was on the Joe Button podcast and Joe Button asked him a certain question. He was like, Stephen, A., what is the real reason Max Kellerman is no longer with ESPN first take? So his response was, you know, I have no problem with dude, but I just thought the, the show was getting stale and we wasn't moving forward to his liking. Uh, a lot of viewers, you know, they like Max Kellerman. Uh, Max Kellerman brought a different spin to the show. A lot of people said that Max Kellerman was winning some of the, you know, controversial debates with Stephen A. Smith. I know Max Kellerman used to have some outlandish takes on, you know, the thing with Iguodala taking the last shot for the Golden State Warriors and his assessment of Kobe, Mike, and LeBron. So, you know, he has, has some outlandish takes. But the ratings of the show never plummeted. You know, they were steady, you know, they wasn't skyrocket, but they were still the number one show on TV at the time. Max Kellerman was on ESPN first take. So Stephen A. Smith said some things about his Ivy League background, you know, that he, you know, didn't come from a journalist background. He didn't play the sports, but he's a highly intelligent guy. He knew how to articulate things and it made for a great show. And then when that podcast dropped, you know, you know, People like Terrell Owens, man, he he made some comments that Stephen A. Smith didn't like. But then Marcellus Wallace went to his podcast and said this was the real reason why Max Kellerman was let go from ESPN first take. You know, Marcellus Wallace and, and Max Kellerman, wait, they worked together before. So, you know, he came to the aid of his, you know, defense of his friend. So he basically went on his podcast saying that, you know, Stephen A. felt threatened by Max Kellerman. And also, he said that, you know, the show was supposed to go one way. But when Max Kellerman didn't stick to the script, that's when Stephen A became threatened and became a little jealous of Max Kellerman. So it was certain things that Marcellus Wally said that really, you know, irritated Stephen A Smith. And, and we haven't heard from Stephen A Smith. We didn't hear a response from that because he was in his little riff going back and forth with Terrell Owens gets on his show and what Stephen A. Smith does is he bigs all these people up and then in the same sense will go on his podcast and then belittle these guys. I mean, he would tear off into them. But first he would say, hey, these are good dudes. I have no problem with them. You know, they're, you know, had great careers and stuff like that. And then you want to go tear them down like the Terrell Owens situation. You know, he goes on his podcast, talk about he has some kind of files and stuff that, you know, that he didn't want, you know, to people to know. And Terrell Owens like, man, if you're going to expose me, expose me. But the papers that, you know, he threw up, anybody can throw papers up. So that's one thing. You know, he would try to, 
you know, big these people up and then break them down in a sense. So Marcellus Wiley's called bullshit for what bullshit was. And, you know, he went to his podcast and he said some things about Stephen A. Smith that he felt threatened by Max Kellerman. You know what I'm saying? Because he was highly intelligent. He know how to articulate his words and he would do certain things. But he when once he went off script, Stephen A. Smith, he couldn't deal with that. But a lot of viewers, they like Max. A lot of people that come in the comments said Max, you know, made for a great show, which I thought as well. I had no problem with Max Kellum. So when Marcellus Wallace dropped his podcast, Stephen A. Smith, he made another appearance and he made the appearance on The Breakfast Club with DJ Envy and Charlemagne the God. And he said something. He was talking about different issues and things like that, about certain comments that his boss has said, man, just let it go. Everybody knows the reason why Max Hellman is going. And they was basically telling, you know, Stephen A. Smith that you don't have to explain yourself no more and he'll let it go. So he said, I'm done with that. That's water under the bridge. I'm not going to explain that no more. But then when an issue came up with Marcellus Wiley's, he was quick to say some things. Let's take a listen to what Stephen A. Smith said on The Breakfast Club of what Marcellus Wiley said. Now that I will direct, I will address directly. And I only have one thing to say. He and I worked together, um, got a lot of respect for him. I know the man he was talking about that was his best friend. I get all of that. No problem. Here's my only issue. For a black man to sit up there and say another black man is scared of somebody's intellect. Come on, bro. That's just the line you crossing. And I have nothing more to say other than that. That's sad mm -hmm. that he would go that route. Um, I guess that he's going to get attention because obviously everybody who watches The Breakfast Club every chance we get, he's he going to see, um, talk about it. I'm certainly not going to argue with him. Um, I've always had a lot of respect for him. Me and Marcellus Wiley have never had one issue. Um, and... I don't care what support he has for his boy or anybody else. I, I get that. I support my boys too. But I would never in a million years say that one black man is scared of the intellect of a white man. man. I would never, ever, ever do that. And for him to do something like that, that's on him. Y'all have known me for years. The business has known me for years. I've been on national television with the number one debate show on television for the last 12 straight years and counting. I've been winning, but more importantly, I've been in a bubble in the public eye on national television mm -hmm. every day. We've had disagreements, you know, saying the whole bit. Y'all have never questioned my intelligence. No. Right. <laughs> Ever. Never. Yeah. And so for me, it's like, you know, I get it. I understand it. There's a lot of brilliant brothers out there. Max is one of them. Genius. Absolutely true. Um, and a good brother, too. Good dude, rather. Um, and I get that. But to me, to get all that, I wish him nothing but the best. I ain't rooting against anybody. I'm rooting for him. I'm even rooting for Marcellus. I don't want him to fail. But if I ever saw him again, one-on-one, -on -one, it would be like, a black man going in a public platform and saying another black man is scared and not of a smart white of guy. Yeah. No, no. Forget not as smart because mm -hmm. most people are not as smart uh, as, 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 as some other people, I guess. But that don't mean we're devoid of high intellect and intelligence. Mm -hmm. But to say that I fear the intelligence mm. of any man, any man, Man, my issue I have with that. You see what Stephen A. Smith just did there in that soliloquy? He says all these good things about Max Kellerman, that he's not rooting for him to fail. But then you go on these podcasts and you talk reckless about people. I mean, this ain't the first person that you've talked reckless about. And why is Stephen A. Smith always trying to make himself as the victim? As the victim. 
as much as you have belittled some of these black athletes and you're trying to make yourself the victim and when somebody calls you out for your bs then you want to play victim and then all of a sudden you want to throw the race card in here about a black man telling another black man that he is scared of a white man's intellect why are you trying to make it a race issue stephen a marcellus wallace did not even say that marcellus wallace basically said that you was jealous of max kellum he didn't say that you feared his intellect so right there that goes to show that you're getting into it with all these people you've got into it with terrell owens you've got into it with skip bayless you've got into it now with marcellus wallace now you're making everything about yourself we can go on and on you went on a rampage about Kyrie irvin you went on a rampage back in the days about kevin durant and then when they call you out on your bullshit, you want to play victim this is what i'll say out of all these people that you have got into it with who is the common denominator it's you stephen a smith it's you. You are the one that keeps on getting into it with these people. You will go on your show and you will big these people up. And then at the same sense, you will turn around and start belittling these athletes. You are highly respected in the game. You know a lot of people. Your, your circle is huge. You got a lot of you know, sources that you can rely on. But at the same time, stop trying to play the victim. Stop playing the victim, Stephen A. Smith. Every time something comes up in the news, it's always evolving around Stephen A. Smith. And then you want to try to play the victim. So you guys, man, let me know what y'all think in the comments. Please like this video, share this video out. Tell a friend to tell a friend. Turn on your post notifications. I see everybody in the comments. Hashtag salute. And this is going to wrap up another episode of the Simply Ball Dropping Podcast. I'm your host and the man behind the mic, KSAP. We're going to catch you on the next one. Deuces. Thanks for listening to the Simply Ball Dropping Podcast. Be sure to subscribe, like, and share on all major platforms. Another one.